there are two most important events in the history of any academic institutions and particularly with MIT AOE. The first one is the beginning of the college, which was done successfully several years ago. And the second most important event in the history is in terms of getting the recognition as an autonomous institution. Now, the question that comes is, what is this autonomy? In terms of the new journey of the college, this is a very important milestone and the ability to think and act independently, not as an affiliated college of a university, is an extremely important freedom that an academic institution gets. So MIT AOE has been successful in getting this recognition as an autonomous institution. Now we want to reform, we want to reform the academic model, the curriculum, the framework. The second step is we also would like to improve significantly the quality of the faculty members. So we would like to invest in the growth, in the improvement of the quality of faculty. We also would like to set up a teaching learning center which will also promote the best practices in the teaching learning process. This is also an important initiative that the college is taking forward in this autonomous regime. The third most important dimension in this autonomous regime is the fact that this curriculum will be closely linked with the industries, uh, particularly the industries around in the Bosri and uh, Chakan area. I must say that the location of this college is extremely important and strategic. On one hand, we have the huge industrial belt of Bosri Chinchwad area. On the other hand, we also have got this huge industrial belt of Chakan. So to some extent, an academic technical institution closely in the proximity of uh, the industries in the, uh, the, not only the national industries, but the international industries is a very important asset uh, of this college which we would like to develop further. We would like to see that the industries come on board. We would like to see that the industrial representatives are also involved. The third, or the, rather the fourth aspect is, as you come from Pune to Alandi, you must have noticed several defense establishments and particularly defense research establishments. So we would like to make sure that the college also develops a symbiotic relationship with the research and development, particularly in the defense area, and the students get exposed to defense research and development organization. So in some sense, in the beginning, people may have said that, why have you set up a college in Arandi? But now it turns out that it is a strategically located college. Lastly, but not least important, the most important, as a matter of fact, is the growth of the students. And we would like to make sure that with this new curriculum, with the new faculty, the students are also provided ample opportunities, both of academic as well as sports and cultural type, which will make them an all-rounded uh, personality. We would like to see that this college in the next 10 years will come in the top five colleges, not only of Maharashtra, but it will also be ranked nationally. That's the dream and we are working on it. We would invite you to join us and be a part of this dream. Thank you very much.